Once again, I will change the color of pint load data for the tunnel. Go to visibility setting under visibility setting. Here I will go to pint load and I will select here normals into RGB and I'll click on OK and I'll give apply OK. Now we came to original color. You guys can see here whatever visible in pint load. Once again, I will go to floor plan and I will draw a section here under top panel. Here you can see section option is there just click on that one and create a section here this section will control geometry limit in floor plan and elevations you can select you can extend this one to any limit this one also you can do extend so i will keep this section box here and right click on that section box and here own option is there go to view just click on that view you are in that view actually whatever you place section that portion only showing here for proper explanation i will put all tabs in one window for that i'll go to here tail window you can see here i will remove these two tabs and i'll keep only these two here i will cancel this one and i will cancel this one now you can see only two tabs are there this is a section and this tab is a view of this section whatever we applied this section this is a view you can see here if i extend this view whatever elements within this limit are visible here if i move this section to this area elements within these sections are visible here you can see here two tanks are there if i move these sections to these tanks here it will visible in this view this section will create a geometry view in floor plan or elevation you cannot draw this section in 3d 3d we have section box here we have sections and you can also name for this section here you can see section one is there right because default name is section one here select the section and here go to in property browser here you can see section name is section one we can change the section onto anything you will change it to beam gen one you can see here beam gen one so this name got changed here so this is about section and also you can draw multiple section select this one i'll right click on that one and i'll go to here create similar and i can create another section here if i click that section and right click on that section and select go to view here so this is a view you can see here section one again we got default name here section one so this sectional view it took for area of this box and you can draw a section within the section here also you can draw another section just select your section and you can draw a new section here and you can change name of this section from here property browser again i'll go to 3d i'll cancel and i close these tabs so now we are in 3d view i will just rotate for rotate you have to select shift key on your keyboard and scroller on your mouse and just move now just i will go through this data i will show what, what and all are there in data just i will extend this section box and i will go inside you can see here whenever you bring your mouse point to the data it will change color right to avoid this one just here downside select link option is there if it is open just make it close now you can bring your mouse point here it won't change anything now you can see here this is a mechanical equipment this also mechanical equipment and you can see here this is a duct because of fitting you can see this is duct these are pipes you can see here these electric boxes obviously this is a wall floor and roof you can change again section box you can see here pipes on wall heater lights these are the lights so this is for what this video in the next video i will explain everything about property browser project browser left floor plans ceiling plans and elevations today in this video we discuss what is being what process required to scan and what is scan data tools we are using to create scan to beam how to select and link the file data into project file and we saw how data will look like and what and all there in data so remaining thing we will discuss in next video thank you